Alright guys, how's it going? Mr. Extra here. Do you like anime? Do you like deck boxes? Do you like Yu-Gi-Oh? Of course you like Yu-Gi-Oh. You're watching this video. So, Dueling Guard. That's the site. They make these cool boxes. Check them out. They just put out new lines of stuff. Team Extra at checkout. One word. Capital T. Capital X. Go get your discount today, guys. Go check out this stuff and let's run it. Guys, how's it going? Mr. Extra here from Team Extra. So I figured today we'll do something a little different, right? I mean, I'm thinking more, let's let's do some test hands on DBB, see what all we can get into as I've been making changes. This is, uh, as you guys already know, if you've been following the channel, I've been trying to mess with Mana DM pretty hard to figure out what all I can do with it, like the ins and outs. It's a fun deck, really is. I mean, it's going to be way stronger the next two sets. This is messing with it while it's tier 2 before it gets really expensive. So here's the list I'm working with. This is my current list that I play in person right now, too. It's always subject to change. So let's, um, let's get right into it, guys, alright? So let's save it. Go out. Let's go to the dual room. Let's go solo again. Just to see what we can do out of this, right? Because, I mean, you can get some crazy good hands or you can get an occasional bad hand. Alright. So, this hand's workable. We can do stuff with this. So, we're going to go standby main. Go to main phase. <clears throat> so, special summon Fenrir. Do the effects. And we actually have three defensive cards in our hand, which is kind of cool. And we also have something that kind of makes the where this works. So we'll go Vices now. Vices is going to get rid of the Fenrir. Special Vsauce the boss. This way we still have our normal summon if we have to. Which, I mean, I could have made Barone there. But that is not the correct play here. Because we're going to still end up making Barone and holding this Ash. Right? So we're going to link off. Right? We're going to go into the link one. Now, I cut down a couple cards within the last like 24 to the 36 hours just to see what I can do with it differently and I'm actually playing Cerberus in this build because uh, Cerberus it comes in clutch sometimes so and I don't really need two light hearts so we're gonna go light heart effect let's go grab the field spell I was running two before now I'm running one all right so we're gonna go field spell we will search with it too you guys will never personally catch me in ranked with DB. I'll test a DB with just about anyone, right? The reason why I say this is, like, for example, if you uh, get on Dueling Book and you're watching this video and you want to, like, test, test for content and stuff like that, sure, I'm 100% down to do any of that. I just won't go into rank because it's just a big cesspool, especially low elo. Uh, we do test on Omega sometimes, but Omega is more just when you're learning the deck. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we'll special do this effect. We're going to go grab the other arrival here. Now our hand is fairly mediocre, but our hand says that um, we are, um, we're not going to overcommit here. But we're good. We can go into tryhard here because we have this arrival. We can do tryhard. We could just sit on a baron with a book of moon and ash, which is probably what we're going to do here. But uh, realistically... We can do some things here. Like this light heart on the field, personally, it's going to end up staying on the field. So right. let's just do this. We will pull back the poster boy. I call him poster boy because he's involved in so much stuff right now. He's like, what is it? Um, I don't really have a good example for him. He's vices. He's vices, guys. All right, so we'll sink these away, right? Realistically, you can get this light heart off the field, which, personally, with... In this situation, I would take it off the field. Make the brown, brown effect, clear this, all right? And this test hand is not fantastic, but that's how it is. We'll set this book of in, set this in turn. And then what we're basically ending on here is we got the Baron Negate, which is one, and the Imperm, which is two, Ash, which is three, and Book of Moon, which is four. So we go to end, then we got a Fender for a follow up on the clapback too. And if for whatever reason they uh, they don't kill us, right? We draw off a turn, get a fearless, and then we have our astral out play right here. So that hand was kind of cheeks, but we still ended up on Baron. We did not overcommit. 
they would literally have to clear everything plus kill us for us to not do follow up clapback, which this fearless would actually create a lot of clapback. So let's go ahead and reset it. Okay. Having both fingers and hands kind of rough, but uh, we can cook here, guys. We can cook here. Alright, so. Let's special finner. Uh, we'll just get a normal balloon. All right here we can do some sauce. Uh, link up balloon. I figure I'll do. I'll show you how to get into more like the scarecall stuff. Scarecall is just supplementary. I probably butched the words supplementary. <laughs> Go get the field spell right. Um, the scarecall is just supposed to help you set board. You don't need to rely entirely on it, which sometimes I forget that. Uh, I'm gonna go phobia. Phobia effect. We already have an obsession hand, so we can kind of. We actually could probably go full board here. Let's do this. Let's, uh. Special effect. Let's go grab our, uh. Grab a rival. Alright, now we can do the fun stuff, guys. Obsession. We will send the light heart. Let's go grab Calerium. Let's get it. To grave. To grave. Alright, we go Calerium. Now, we have an interesting situation. You have the choice of getting vices or putting orbs in rotation. Now, if you have to choose between one or the other, you're 100% going to have to get vices, to be honest with you guys. If you don't, then you can't do your sync plays and all the good stuff. So we're gonna grab uh, Visus, 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 the stuff. All right, uh, let's banish special boy. All right, now we're gonna do the weird stuff. So um, we're going to declare Lightheart because Vice is on field. We will special this back. Uh, we're gonna link these two away. We're going to go into this is cross sheep. We'll do our cross sheep play right here. We're gonna sync these away. Now, typically, um, Chaos Angel is a real strong move, but I would not blind make Chaos Angel because then they're just gonna impermanent. And then if you're like me and you're where you can only run one, it's kind of bad, personally. If you know what you're going against, then that'll determine if you need to make Chaos Angel or not, guys. So, here, we're going to actually... I actually kind of want to make... Uh, let's... We can go Chin Yang. I might uh, start running the Ice J Monster and place a Cerberus again. Whichever. But, we're going to... Nah, we'll make Chaos Angel. Let's just... We have Chaos Angel or Chin Yang here, but we'll go Chin Yang, actually. Make Chin Yang... And then we can go, uh, let's go, banish, banish, uh, let's drop a astroloud, cross sheep effect, which is going to make all our monsters gain 700 plus the diffusion thing being there. Let's pull back. We don't have an orb in rotation, and when we don't have a rotation, we're gonna pull back this, which means I should have made Baron here, but Chen Ying worked too. There's another reason why I wanted to do Chen Ying here. Okay, so. And then we're going to uh, link three. Uh, let's drop out Triheart. Now we could have did Apo here, which Apo is probably the better play, so we're actually gonna do the Apo instead. Because uh, we have a little bit, we have a little bit of a clapback. But Apo Chen Ying is not great. But we'll go to Apo because it could have easily have just been Apo Baron. But that is my own, own mistake. This is a learning process. Now we have this arrival in hand. We got the Ash, so we got our three negates here. We have arrival for follow up. I would not put this on the field. And we have this Finner. So let's go to end phase. And I'm just curious to see what our next card is. So, let's see. They go, we, let's say we hit them with Ash, right? We hit them with Ash, we burn all the Apo Negates, they probably kill it. 
And then they, assuming that we probably have Chinying still, and Chinying's kind of big right now. So let's uh, go to draw phase. Let's see what happens here. Off the rip. Yep, that's pretty good. So that's just another decent hand. I'm still I'm still working with the ratios here for this, right? But um, it's a work in process, guys. I'm thinking of, I'll probably take Cerberus out. I feel like it's not necessary. Okay, this is a hand, guys. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to do full board off Ash of Visas. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so I hate to do this, but we are normal summoning Ash. Uh, we'll go Vices, target the Ash, send the Grave, special, Link, <clears throat> special, effects. This hand is a uh, subpar, in my opinion. Do the double talents is not great. But sometimes you get hands like this, sometimes you don't. It's an interesting deck, though. I actually, because in person, my hands in person are way, way better compared to this. Uh, let's go effect. Let's go grab this. Uh, let's special it effect. Come on. There you go. Go grab that. Okay, where do we want to go from here? Realistically, we're just going to end up ending on a Baron, and then I'll set one of these talents, but we'll go ahead and play it out. So, I mean, we can get Tryheart here, but that gains us pretty much nothing, right? It essentially gains us nothing. So, let's go Rival. This. Get rid of these. Brown. Set. It's not terrible, but it's kind of meh. But, uh, dealer's choice most of the time, guys. Dealer's choice. Like I said, learning process. If you guys have any suggestions I should do to change this build up, I actually listen to what you all say, too. I have plenty of proof of that. So if you have any suggestions or anything, please drop it in the comments. Let me know. You got some cheeky stuff that we can do here. Okay, let's, uh, let's do one more. Okay. All right, stand my man. Okay, 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 we can do some stuff here. So let's do this, let's go effect. Let's assume they go to Ash, so we're just gonna call by the Ash just to get it out of the way. We already have vices in hand, so we're gonna grab that. Uh, normal summon effect. Let's grab a rival. Alrighty. Alrighty. Now, let's see. We could have did this a couple different ways because we, we did it... Right, I, if I'm going to get Ashed and I don't have called by, I'm always going to bait it with Rank Phobia, personally, because if Ash and Calarium hurts so much more. Alright. Alright, here's, here's the line, guys. You ready? Obsession. <sighs> send. To hand. Grave. Clarion. Grab room heart. Uh, banish. Special. Effect. We don't have any tunes in the graveyard, so our room heart still has base stats on the Clarion. Uh, we're going first. If you're going second, you'd want to grab Fearless. If you're going first and building the board, you want to grab Meek here. Meek will help you get to your Death Peter. Fearless will help you stack your Sacred Monsters attacks for the battle phase where you can get an up to additional 15. Special. Uh, Vices target the Meek. Uh, let's go... Meek one, Clarion two. Ow, 
I hit me twice, huh? Alright. Because the most annoying thing for this deck is Nib. But we can play through Nib. Once you get a uh, Vices and a level 4, you can play through Nib. If they draw you at the beginning and you have no out for it, you better hope you have it on your hand. So we'll make this one at the end of level 4. So let's see, what do we want to do here? Let's go, let's sinker some of these two away. Our cell effect. Sink away these two now. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. Let's go, let's go. All right, all right, now. Right here, we can sink or summon again right here, you know, like Chaos Handle or something, but we kind of have to utilize the um, Cross Sheep here. But I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to uh, link, and we're doing this for a reason. It'll give us an extra body over here in a minute. All right, all right. And then we are going to link these away. You'll understand why I did that light heart, so... Cross sheep. Uh, we're gonna do the Astro Loud play right now, so we're going to. Uh, you're gonna use this arrival for. You're gonna. You're gonna love this, guys. You're gonna love what I'm gonna do with this. So we're gonna bash these two. Bash these two. Astro Loud cross sheep effect. They're both gonna gain. They're all gonna gain 700 permanently. By the way. Bring this back. Uh, let's tinker some of these. Peter. Pull back Vices. Uh, let's see. Because we have this floating light heart effect too. Uh, light heart effect. Alright, alright. Arrival. Grab this. Now we got two choices here. We got we got a couple. We got a couple. We could do tryheart here, which tryheart would only be good if we have level three in rotation, which we don't right now, so there's no need to do all that. Um, we could go a we could do a four map apo if we want. But why would we do that? Or we could sink her summon again and then set on these two, which I would leave cross sheep on the field and lightheart be an additional body at this point, which we didn't need to bring lightheart back for this. So let's just. Assume we did not bring Lightheart back because we can save him on a clap back. So we're gonna sink or summon again. Now right here is where I would actually make Chaos Angel going first, due to the fact that it'll make it a lot harder to get rid of Baron and then Death Peter will protect as well. Come on. D B doing D B things, guys. Look at this. Come on, D B. Let's set that. Well, whatever. But, so essentially you guys see that uh, what I did is, I don't know why it's lagging right now, but uh, what I did was uh, you would make the Chaos Angel, right? You use Death Peter to grab that Vices that's banished, and you'll throw it back into your graveyard. There, there we go, there we go. And the reason for this is you have a free astral out in your grave. So let's say we go, we end, right? And I've made this board, I make this board pretty pretty often, right? So let's say we end. Come on, DB. DB's chugging the day, guys. And then it goes their turn, and then let's say I end up barren negating, and we'll say I end up using on Peter. If I doing this here I would uh, I would actually shuffle back obsession if I if I think Peter's gonna survive so uh, let's just shuffle that back and then so let's say if they can't deal with the board I book them in one of their cards goes to the grave right they pass back to me got a draw let's see what we draw we got Rhoda alright they're dead I'm like 100% dead so let's say we Rota, they ash it, right? We would leave Baron out too at this point too. Let's say they ash us, cool, whatever. We didn't care about this anyways. So the grave, uh, Peter, grab Roomheart, special, uh, 
room heart effect. Go grab anything we want at this point, guys. Because we can go grab Obsidian and then just do Clarium again. Or we could essentially just do other lines. And then on top of that, we we have a, um, Astro, a free Astro Loud right here. Not to mention, I would definitely clear out a space to do Cross Shoe Effect again. But um, that's all I got for right now for uh, test hands with a Manadium Scareclaw. I will be testing or doing test hands of uh, Bisteel Manadium because I've been seeing like some interesting things going on about that sort of build. And I kind of want to see what it does. If you uh, like the com content, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep coming. We're a little slow at the moment. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you think that I should make changes to this build, let me know. I know I run kind of like a fat link package, but I am more than likely, uh, more than likely, uh, putting the ice shade monster in in place of Cerberus. That's one hundred percent happening. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know.